This morning, California's Reparations Task Force, the first of its kind in the nation, has voted to send recommendations for reparations to state lawmakers, saying it hopes to right the wrongs of slavery as well as land, housing, and health discrimination. My great-grandfather was a sharecropper who had 17 children and worked from sunup to sundown and died with absolutely nothing. The task force is recommending payments of up to $1.2 million for any African American over 70 that can trace their ancestry to enslaved people, compensating them for what it describes as harm to their health, mass incarceration, over policing, and housing discrimination. Land was stolen from many, as in my husband's case. My husband has the deeds to these properties, that state. This land belongs to my descendants forever and ever. Several descendants told their stories in a public forum. Task Force member Joven Scott Lewis insists reparations are not payouts. We are returning monies taken, returning monies stolen, returning right, the monies that had been lost based upon the kinds of dispossession and disenfranchisement. But the task force's work faces two major hurdles. First, no mention of how to pay for the estimated $800 billion price tag, which is more than twice California's annual budget. And the recommendations are non-binding, meaning state lawmakers still have to approve the idea, an uphill battle. The task force will issue a final report to state lawmakers this summer. An interim report also called for a public apology from the state to African-American descendants of slaves and others who were discriminated against and disenfranchised. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.